So if you currently look like this guy right here, but you're trying to look like this, then you need to make sure you watch this entire video right now. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Logan Delgado. I am a proud father, proud husband. I lost 70 pounds utilizing a ketogenic diet, intermittent fasting, and whole food approach lifestyle. I've now dedicated my life to help people just like you and fathers and parents just like myself remind them that it's never too late to become what you might have been. In this video, guys, I wanna talk about four very important things that really help me get through my weight loss journey, really help me progress, and honestly, I really wish I knew these things a lot sooner, and I wish people would have told me these things before I got started. So number one and the most important thing, and this is something that I see every single day. As you know, I am a online personal coach. So if you are somebody who is looking for a coach, hit me up, I'd love to coach you. But I see this all the time and what that is is that I get unrealistic expectations from clients. They come to me and they're like, Logan, I got a wedding next month, I'm going on vacation, it's summertime, you know, it's in 60 days, and I wanna drop 50 pounds, 100 pounds, I wanna reverse my insulin resistance, my obesity, my type two diabetes, and they wanna do it in such a short period, right? Like I just said, in four weeks, in six weeks, in eight weeks. But what you don't understand is that it took you literally years, years to get where you're at today. To use myself as a perfect example, so when I looked like this, it took me about eight years to get here. What I say that eight year gap is me coming out of high school. So in high school, I was pretty fit. I mean, I played sports, I'm 18, my testosterone, my energy levels are high. I was not overweight at all, like most 18 year olds back in 2005. Now, if you talk about nowadays high school kids, it's a completely different story and a completely different video. We won't touch that topic today. But I was in great shape and it wasn't until I was age 26 that I made a lifestyle change. But understand that when I went into my journey, it took me a year and a half. Now, I had no idea how long it was gonna take. Obviously, like most people, you want to you want it to happen fast, but that's not always the best decision. And so if you're somebody who is just starting their weight loss journey, understand that it took you years to get there. It's gonna take you a long time to reverse all that. But that's not to get discouraged. It will happen. I know it may sound like a long time, you know, for me, it took me a year and a half, but I promise you that year and a half will go by like that. And the reason why I bring that up is because when people don't see results in four weeks, they freak out. They're like, oh, this isn't working. I'm, oh, I'm, this is just crap. This is bull crap. This diet doesn't work. This exercise doesn't work. This is genetic. I was born this way. And they give up because they want to change what took them years and years, sometimes 10 plus years in four weeks. Come on, that's just not realistic. Stop thinking like that. Number two, and this is really important, and this is actually very personal to me. Understand your why. What is your why? Why do you wanna do this? And your why is gonna change. Let me tell you, throughout your fitness journey, it will change. I've been on my fitness journey since I was age 26. I am now 37 years old. So I've been on this journey for 11 years and it has definitely changed like my motivations, my inspiration, the reason why I'm doing this. I obviously have a video I posted about a month ago, two months ago of my real reason why I got started. Go watch that video. Actually, I'll put a link right here. Go watch that video. It's about me being jealous and envious of an ex-boyfriend and uh, got me started, whatever. <laughs> Just go watch it, uh, you'll know why. But understanding your why. So for me today, I have two beautiful girls. I want to be a healthy father for them. I want to be able to play with them. I wanna be able to do things with them, travel with them, run with them, swim with them. They're at the pool, they're playing sports. I wanna be able to keep up with them. That is my why. Your why is always gonna change, but understanding your why will create that foundation that will help you build discipline. So majority of people who do watch my channel are parents. So moms, dads, do this for your kids. Do this for your loved ones. The best gift that you can give your kids, your loved ones, is a healthy you, right? No toys, no iPhones, no Xbox, no electronic shoes, trips, all that. That's all cool and nice, 
but it doesn't mean anything, right? If you're not along with them, if you're only gonna be here for a couple of more years because you're not taking care of your health. You only get one body, take care of it. So understand your why and let that be the foundation and the motivation that creates discipline for you to keep going strong, which is why I am going on 11 years strong and I do not plan on quitting and I do not plan on going back to this old guy right here. Number three, and this is another common mistake that I always see people that are new to their fitness journey, especially me. When I first started, guess what I prioritize? Cardio, 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 cardio. I had to do cardio for hours and hours and I had to run and I had to jog and I didn't really care about lifting weights. If you're somebody who wants this to work long-term, resistance training has to be something you're going to incorporate. It just has to be because it just sets you up for future success. When you have more muscle, you're able to eat more food, your metabolism is a lot faster, you're gonna look better, you're gonna feel better, you can handle glucose a lot better than people who don't have any muscle because your muscles will just use it up as sponge when you move and you exercise. This is what I always talk about. After you're done eating your dinner or your lunch or your breakfast, whatever that may be, what do I always say? Go for a walk, go for a jog, go up the stairs, go work out after one of your meals. That's what I do, right? The one meal that I have carbs with is my pre-workout meal. Why? Because I know I'm gonna use that up, I'm gonna burn up through that glycogen during my workout. So I always recommend you do the same. Definitely prioritize resistance training over cardio. Now that's not to say neglect cardio. Cardio is very important. If you follow me on my Instagram or my Facebook, you know that I do cardio every morning. But if I only have time to pick one, it's always gonna be resistance training. And for somebody who is just getting into the gym, they always say like, all right, man, I wanna start dieting. So how much cardio should I be doing? Wrong, eh, wrong. That's the wrong question. What you should be asking me is like, hey man, just start my weight loss journey. How many times should I be going to the gym? As much as you can. Go five days, six days if you can. But resistance training is gonna be so important and always prioritize building muscle over doing cardio. And number four, that is eliminating temptation. When you first start, even now guys, I've been on my journey for 11 years, I still get temptation. I still like can see a dessert or a beer or a margarita or something. I just want to have it. And then when I have one, that's not the problem. The problem's not having one. The problem is stopping at one. That's my problem. And that's going to be the majority of people's problems, especially when you're first starting your weight loss journey, having that one slice of pie turns into two and three and then you're having another dessert and then you just snowball that's how it always is with me i see a nice margarita calling my name and i have one well guess what your boy goody's feeling a little little loosey-goosey let me just have a little another one have another one and once i have two guys anybody who knows me it's uh it's no stopping me i get out of control and that's not always a good thing but i can never stop and that is the temptation so where I'm at today in my fitness career and my fitness journey, I'm able to have one. I'm fine, right? I lost all my weight. I built muscle. I built a great foundation. I could get away with that. But for you, someone just starting, you got to eliminate that temptation. And what I mean by that is go through your pantry, look through your pantry. What do you got in there? Do you have any desserts and cookies and treats that are just going to constantly trip you up? Dude, get rid of it. Why, why do you need it? I'm not saying you're never gonna have it for the rest of your life, but for right now that you're just starting, throw it away. Just get rid of it. Stop. It's just gonna be temptation. It's just gonna be like when you're feeling sad or you're feeling stressed out from work or something happens, guess what? What do we always do? We eat to our emotions. And then we're gonna go to the pantry, we're gonna open up, and we're just gonna down a whole thing of Doritos and cookies and ice cream because of our emotions. That won't happen if you don't have it. So get rid of it. What I always tell my clients is you got to do an audit of your refrigerator, your freezer, and your pantry. Whatever is in there that is not going to benefit you for your future, that is not going to get you closer to your goals, then get rid of it. Out of sight, out of mind. Wait until you get a little bit further into your fitness journey. You start seeing results, start getting results. Then you can start having a little treat here and there. Once you build up that discipline, or it's not going to completely sabotage you. Because I've seen this many times. People just starting off, they're doing really good for two weeks. Then a weekend comes and they absolutely go downhill. And guess what? 
no more checking in with me on Monday, no more following the plan. Then they hit me up two weeks later and be like, dude, I'm sorry, man. I just, I had a mess up. I was embarrassed and I was avoiding you coach. I didn't want to check in with you because I was so let down. Do you see what happened? This downward spiral, this downward snowball effect just happened and it completely derailed them because of that one temptation. So you just gotta get rid of it. And if something like being social, your friends are always calling you like, man, let's go watch the game, let's go drink. I'm not saying you're never gonna be able to hang out with your friends. But for right now, just tell them, hey man, I got some goals, I got some things that I really want to accomplish. I'm gonna have to say no for this time. Maybe I'll catch up with you in a couple of weeks. Um, but for right now, I don't wanna do that because I know what you guys wanna do. I know you guys wanna drink, you wanna order food from the bar, you wanna order burgers and french fries, and I've been doing that with you for years, right? It's like, when I first started, it's like, it was easy for me to say no to drinking because goddamn, I've been doing that for years. Like, what's, what's me saying no for a week or a month? Like, that's totally fine, right? For me saying no for six months, I've been doing it for eight damn years. I can give it up, so can you. Get that out of your head that like, oh, well, I'm never gonna have a life. I'm never gonna go out and enjoy with my friends and my buds. Dude, you've been doing that for years. You can give it up for six months, I promise you. How bad do you want it, okay? Let's get you to a healthy spot because for me, I'm able to do all these things a lot easier and I can get away with it because I'm in great shape. I did everything I needed to do. I reversed my obesity, reversed my insulin resistance, reversed my chronic diseases, and now I can get away with that stuff, right? That's where I wanna get you. That's where you wanna get. You wanna be able to reach your goal and now kinda of maintain that lifestyle and enjoy yourself once in a while. And it's a lot easier for you to do that once you get into good shape, you built that muscle, you built that discipline, you built that foundation. So there you go, guys. Those are four key things that I would highly recommend you take care of, write down, figure out and do if you want to have a successful weight loss journey. So there you go, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you're watching this right now and you've never had an online coach and you're thinking about it, let me just tell you the biggest thing that I see that people need is accountability. Everybody knows what they should be eating. Everybody knows what they should be doing, but they don't have anybody to hold them accountable. That's where I come in. I'm gonna be on your ass. You and I will check in with each other every single day, no ands, ifs, or buts about it. You're gonna check in with your coach. You're gonna have daily small tasks that you need to accomplish every single day. Those small things, those daily check-ins will add up. You will win the week, you'll win the month, and guess what, in a couple of months, you will reach your goal, I guarantee it. So if you're somebody who needs that accountability, if you're someone who needs a coach to be on their ass, then I'm the coach for you. If you are interested, I'll have a link in the description below where you can check out my one-on-one -on -one coaching. Let's set up a phone call. If you have tons of questions, what I like to do is set up a phone call first with any potential clients. I like to tell them about my coaching, what to expect, what I expect, and then from there, if it's a green light, then we go to the next step and then I'll start coaching you. I'll get all the information I need to start making your custom plan. So when I do coach you, you're gonna get a custom meal plan, a custom workout plan, and every single day you and I will be in communication with each other and I'm tracking data. I need to get data from you. I need to know how you're feeling, how your workouts are, a laundry list of things that I take, I make adjustments to each week. And so we take it week by week. There is no contract. I don't make you sign up for nine months. Everybody's adults. I'm gonna treat you like an adult. We take it week by week. So if you are interested in coaching, guys, hit me up. Guarantee results if you follow the plan correctly, which I will be on your ass about. That's the end of the video, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Bam.